Well, yesterday we brought you the story of an independent MP who has launched a scathing campaign accusing Labor of being the pokies party. New South Wales MP Helen Dalton says Labor's direct connections to the clubs across the country makes it too compromised to tackle gambling reform. The world needs to know that Labor are actually funding their party from um, really from gambling harm. Are you the, the, the party for the pokies? Or are you real about what you want to do about poker machine reform? Joining me now live is Alliance for Gambling Reform spokesperson Tim Costello. Tim, good morning. Thanks for joining us. What do you make of these revelations? Well, look, just before I go there, can I pay my tribute to Peter Murphy? She was a friend and a neighbour and she chaired the most far-reaching reform for gambling and had recommended a ban on all sports betting ads uh, and uh, her courage to bring together a multi-partisan committee, uh, Teals, Greens, uh, Liberals uh, and her as a Labor chair for that recommendation is another extraordinary legacy to uh, the bravest uh, woman I knew. Um, look, when it comes to um, what Helen Dalton's saying, that's true. And uh, La Labor has a gambling problem. It's why Peter Murphy, as a Labor member, chairing and recommending a, a ban on sports betting ads and other recommendations was, was so brave within her party. And I hope they honour uh, her by actually implementing the recommendations. Um, we've known for a long time that Labor... Uh, New South Wales Labor, ACT New South Wales Labor have five pokies venues. They've built up over $100 million of assets over the last 40 years from pokies losses. Really, when 63 cents in every dollar goes through a machine, according to the Productivity Commission, that comes from someone who has an addiction. Uh, those That $100 million Labor has is built on the back of addiction and misery and no other party no other respectable party in the western world does this so helen dalton is right about that since the new south wales government was elected do you think that the the state labor government is making headway when it comes to gambling reforms i mean this was a key issue that it did take to the election well, sadly, the uh, Labor government uh, is in minority because it did not actually step up and make it bipartisan what the former Premier Dom Perrottet recommended, a cashless card for all pokies machines. By the way, uh, the police commissioner in New South Wales wanted it. The crime commissioner in New South want, uh, wanted it. The AMA wanted it. The health unions wanted it. And yet, Chris Minns, if he'd uh, agreed to that, would be majority government. The, the public wanted the cashless card and it was incomprehensible that Labor and Chris Minns did not step up to actually uh, make that reform which would protect uh, people who uh, do harm and would get rid of crime. The reason, and Helen Dalton is pointing this out, is because Labor has a gambling problem. They literally have so much money in assets uh, from their own Labor pokies clubs. Just quickly before we let you go, the RBA will meet today. It's expected they will keep the cash rate on hold. Uh, would that bring some welcome relief, of course, ahead of the festive season? Oh, look, absolutely. The, the sad thing is that... Uh, Pokies' losses have gone up in a cost-of-living crisis, a record over $7 billion lost in New South Wales, because the one thing that goes up uh, when you lose hope is gambling. It seems to be your only hope. We know, of course, it just does far more damage to, to you, your family, and, and to your kids, and yet uh, uh, that's, that's what goes up in a cost-of-living crisis, gambling losses. Tim Costello, we have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.